crafted design engineer to be a content management system. And it's first crafted for content managers to make the day the day to day life of a content manager easier. Those who support content managers such as designers and integrators, it's built for them as well. But primarily for content managers. We need to cover five topics, so I've covered three so far. How does Plone support the role of a content manager? Ah, day to day content management. Yeah. This is a completely contrived example, right? But hopefully it resonates with some of the content managers in the audience. The boss wants you to showcase a report on the front page, right? Overall, we can do the following. Set up a news item, add a little carousel on the front page, and then set up some sliding banner images. Uh, let me show you how that might work. So this is our carousel, and the carousel has certain criteria. I'm just going to hop over to I want to hop over to the admin interface and I'm going to I'm going to add a new news item and give it a title. Cool stuff. Give it a summary and something like that's alarm if some and let's find a picture. Oh boy, where am I going to find a picture now? Probably pictures. Uh, <laughs> this is kind. Of, this is kind of like using Plone, you know. Windows is kind of like using Plone because you just browse through these folders and so that's pretty nice. Okay, so there we go. It has made a thumbnail for you instantly. Uh, in other words, this is a tiny picture. This is not a squashed version of the big picture that I just uploaded. And you know I just took that from a pictures folder, right? It's private, let me publish it. And because of how I set up my carousel on the front page, there you go. Well, that's one job done. In terms of SEO, and any one of these things, you can edit the metadata. So you can set categorization, you can say what things it's related to. So maybe this is related to some other document that I have. I'll just say that it's related. And I'll add a tag, desert. Right? And click save. Okay, great. <coughs> so that's, that's a little bit about SEO, a little bit about content management, day-to-day -day content management. Right, so let's, let's move back. So our presentation, so let's get this out of the way. So that's a little bit about day-to-day -day content management. And we looked at that. So what about for designers? Uh, how many designers in the place, by the way? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Excellent, excellent, excellent. These are a couple of clone sites that I like. This is, this is really well done, but it's the back end that really makes this really powerful. But you need to have a nice front end too, right? Right? This back end is crazy, the stuff that they're doing in the back end here. Right? But it's nice to look at pretty stuff too. This is the Jamaica Bankers Association. It is a plan site. And this is the Caribbean Environmental Program, which is also a plan site. A word from our sponsors. Designers. Right. Have you scared your designer recently? You know what I'm talking about. You try to help them to learn how to theme your content management system. Yeah. Or worse, you gave them that handy cheat sheet. Your designers give you their beautiful crafted layouts and you, you massacre their pixels. You might as well eat their firstborn. You love your designer. Don't eat their children. Eh? <laughs> So I'd like to introduce you to Diazo for theming. And Diazo is made for designers. It's powerful and simple theming, runs on Plone. It allows you to do things like this. You have your theme over here, and you have your content over here. What if you could just magically make your content jump into your theme? I'm here to say, yes, you can <laughs> with Diazo. In other words, we want to leave theming for the people that care about pixels. 
Ah, it's okay, it's okay. 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 Um, so for integrators, we can create custom content types, but let's, let's just talk about the theme thing, all right? So it turns out that while the other presentation was going on, I really liked that Jamaica 50 site. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We need to work together. The design, trust me, trust me. So what I did was I decided I want to put my flown content in it. So <laughs> Jamaica 50 dot theme. A flown theme is one file, right? Let's try it out and see. Let's refresh and see if it's themed. So this is the same site. Remember, we had done some stuff, right? What? Um, <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to say our content in the Jamaica 50 site. Uh, wait, 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 The navigation bar is now my flown content, right? So the news and stuff is now my news. There you go. And I can go to a news item and stuff. <laughs> oh, I have a Mona School of Business theme too. You want to see it? Yeah, let me let me show you that one. Um, <laughs> so, Mona School of Business, which one should I use? I use this one. Now, obviously, this is not the standard way of building a theme, you know. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't do this, right? <laughs> what's, what's the my spot address for? My for my spot that Mona. That UA. That EDU. That JM. MSB. So that should be good enough to get us the MSB theme. I, I didn't have enough time to clean up like the search box and stuff, you know. Maybe if I had another 10 minutes. <laughs> but um, this is the Mona School of Business theme in, with plum content in it. Right? The same news item. I just refreshed it. Navigation bar is now on the left because the navigation was on the left, so I changed that, right? So, yeah, question. <laughs> <laughs>